What's up everybody, Branson over at Tailwater Outfitters and today we are talking about hook selection and how you make that right choice given your fishing situation. So, one of the biggest questions that we get whenever anybody comes in the shop, we get a lot of questions, there's no doubt about that, but one of the first ones that we typically get is what kind of hook should I use? Because we have a big hook wall and there's a lot of different options and it can sometimes be overwhelming. I know it was for me when I first started and even sometimes I need I have questions. What size hook should I use? What style hook should I use? What 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 is going on here? So that's what we're going to talk about. So when it comes to certain fishing situations and something that we hear a lot of it is I need to use a big hook for big fish. Well that's not true and that's what we're going to kind of talk about today is the fishing situation and your hook is going to be dictated on the size of the bait more than it actually has to do with the size of the fish one main reason that we do that is because when it comes to live bait you don't want a giant hook on a little bait it's going to weigh it down it's not going to let it do its thing that it's supposed to do naturally, which is swim around and be happy and be free. It's going to weigh it down and make it look funky. And that's probably going to make some fish not want to eat it. Other thing too, is when it comes to the other side of it, that, that frozen or that cut bait, you want to have that hook that is perfectly sized for it because one, it might be a little bit more hidden into that bait and it's going to be, be a little bit easier for that fish to eat said frozen or cut bait. And it's going to be easier for you to hook it. So that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. So we're going to start first off with inshore fishing because that's more often than not what most of us are doing around here. The first hook in the first situation is going to be shrimp. If I'm using live shrimp or frozen shrimp, what type of hook should I use? So when it comes to fishing a flat, more open area, I recommend the Owner Muti Light. I'm a big fan of Owner. I have a lot of confidence in them and I trust them and I, I really like them. I like this style. This is the perfect size when it comes to a regular size shrimp or a little bit bigger. If it's a select shrimp, you might want to bump it up. But for the smaller, regular shrimp, this is what I would like to use. And the nice thing about a circle hook is, of course, it essentially sets itself. All you have to do is reel. And that's why it's nice to use when it comes to more open areas, because you can let that fish run. Now, let's say you're fishing a mangrove line or a dock, dock light, anything like that. And you need to stop them a little bit faster. That's when I use the SSWs with the cutting point. That's important too. This is going to be a sharper point to it. So it's going to be able to drive into that fish a little bit easier. But this is the this is the hook where you can actually set the hook with. But if I'm fishing a mangrove line or if I'm up against the dock and I need to really set that hook in right when I feel that fish eat, this is what I'm going to use. It's a really nice hook. It's sharp. It holds. I've never broken any. So I use them and I like them. So the next fishing situation that you're going to have is I'm going to bump it up. I'm going to be using some bigger baits, whether that be frozen or live as well, whether it be pinfish, grunts, maybe some cut ladyfish, some cut mullet or some cut pinfish. And that's where I'm going to implement and use something like this. So this is an Eagle Claw, claw Trocar 4 rot. They're super sharp. They hold up. I have confidence in them just like I do with the owners. That's something that's really important. I always talk about that is confidence, having confidence in that. Also chunking some baits when it comes to snapper. The, that size bait is going to be the perfect size for a hook like this as well. So the next fishing situation is going to be something a little bit different and I don't use it as much, but it definitely has its place. And that is pulling big fish from structure, whether that's a really big snook off a dock, or it's a triple tail off a buoy, or it's something that is just on structure, whether it be like a mangrove line, and that's going to be a short shank live bait hook. And this is perfect for that bait that is a smaller chunk bait, or something that you really need to drive through quickly, whether that's a little bit bigger of a shrimp or a smaller white bait, you're gonna punch that bait out with this hook and you're going to set that hook immediately because you know that that fish is going to just destroy that bait and that's where this comes into play i like this style of hook especially with the triple tail like i was saying because i don't like a circle hook for triple tail i've noticed that i've lost more fish 
then caught more fish when it comes to the circle hook. So I use something like this, and this is definitely gonna help you when it comes to hooking up. All right, and the last scenario is going to be big baits. So big baits could be a big frozen sardine. It could be a big frozen cigar minnow. It could be a big pinfish, a big white bait. And that's where I'm going to use these guys right here. So this is a Trocar dot Lancet Circle Hook. I love these. And also too, I love them in the bulk pack because when you're using those big baits, I'm normally going to be fishing for stuff like grouper or tarpon or big mutton snapper, stuff like that. You might go through more than you'd like to. So buying a bulk pack is going to save you from buying a whole bunch of these. You're gonna save a few bucks and you're gonna have a whole lot more with you if you need them. So I know that was a lot of information and that is okay. And that's where we come into play. Give us a call, come in the shop, comment on the video, ask us some questions on the situation that you're fishing and making sure that that hook size is the correct size for the bait that you're using. Cause that's what it's all about is making sure that that is what's going on. And that's gonna help you catch some fish. But again, like, subscribe, comment, share, and see you next time.